Hey, Clint Brown here. I just wanted to quickly run through how to move your iLogic settings from Inventor 2019 up to 2020 or from Inventor 2020, as you see on the left, to 2021, as you see on the right over here. I've previously written a blog post about migrating your settings from older versions, and this is great for bringing over most of your settings. It doesn't do your iLogic stuff. Um, I'll share the link to this in the video. So what am I talking about? Well, you'll see on the left, I have all of my external rules over here. On the right, zero. So what we need to do is just quickly go over to tools and under options, you've got your iLogic configuration. You can export these settings to my desktop over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say these are my 2020 iLogic settings. And inside of Inventor 2021, I can go to options and iLogic configuration and I can then import my 2020 iLogic settings and say okay. Right, those rules are now in there, which is great. But I've still got a problem. You'll see under my snippets that I don't have any of my custom ones that I've created in the previous version. So what I've got to do is I've got to grab those as well. Pretty easy to do. All I need to do is grab uh, or go up the top over here and go save custom snippets to a new file, pop that on my desktop and save over those, my 2020 ones. And that means that in 2021, I can go in here. And what I want to do is I want to merge. So I want to go and grab the 2021 version or the 2020 version, I should say. And I want to merge that with the 2021 version. And that brings through my custom settings over there. And I just want to run this rule. Okay, so that's it. Um, it's worth noting that I've now got my custom snippets and all of my external rules. The last thing are global forms. So I've got a global form in, I've got a couple of global forms in 2020. What you can do is you can right click and you can copy the form and paste that form into 2020, uh, for from 2020 I should say. So we're gonna grab this one here, copy form, paste that form in. Well, you'll see that it's come through and it works straight away. So if I use my rule here to open file location, that's worked fine. My rule called Clint has a little message box saying 2021. So that's working and it's bought through everything from 2020 into 2021. So quick and easy and you should be up and running in no time. Hope you find that useful.